Pero guys, salud. Okay, so I'm going to solve this problem, and this problem is going to be statically indeterminate structure. You see, there's one degree of indeterminacy here, obvious. And on top of that degree of indeterminacy, with these values, we have to share, we have to draw the shear moment diagram. But we have information that the support A settles by this, B settles by that, and C settles by that. So use this problem as a way of practicing both the, met the force method and then how to include the the part corresponding to to the differential settlements that are happening here. So the first thing that we have to do is solve this, and I'm going to solve it the long way, the me force method. So let's uh, try to do this. And first thing that we have to create is our primary structure. I'm going to eliminate B as a redundant. Uh, remember, always you have to be sure that the structure is stable and statically determinate. So for my primary structure, this is what we're going to be ending with. This is the vertical load pointing downward, like that, three keeper foot. And at this point is a point that I'm interested in see what happened. So the deflection is going to be something like that. But I'm interested in, in reading this value here. So what is this value here? This value is called <coughs> my, my uh, deflection at the point B in the primary structure. That's how it's called. Now, once again, I know that you might get tired of me repeating this, but I'm not going to get tired of repeating it because if I keep doing this, then you are going to at least put it in the head and implant it, imprint that in your head. So then we push it here with a force of one, and then you're going to have something that is going to be like this. It's not a straight line, of course, it's a curve. And this is called the flexibility coefficient at the point B when you have a force applied at the point B. So let's focus on this part first, and let's try to find our uh, a, a delta B O and F B B, and then we can combine that with the whole method that we need to do. So for finding that, remember, we need to cut, and we need to cut because the inertia from here to here is double of the inertia from here to here, meaning we have to make a cut here and make a cut here, or a cut here and a cut here, whatever you want to call it, 1, 1, and 2, 2. So if you if you focus in the primary structure in 1, 1, which is from 0 to 25, I'm going to measure x from this n, and I'm going to measure x from this n. I could have done otherwise, but this is easier if you start doing that. First step, calculate the reactions. How do you calculate the reactions? Pretty simple. This is 30, uh, 40, 40, this is 3, 40 times 3, 120, because everything is symmetric divided by 2. So you're going to have a reaction of 60 here and 60 here. Units are key, remember that. Now, the second the second step is what? The second step is uh, calculating the reactions here. Once again, this is 25, this is 15, so this reaction at this point is going to be 15 divided by 40. 15 divided by 40 multiplied by 1, or what is the same thing as saying 3 eighths. And this react, but it's coming down because the force is going up. So this other reaction here is going to be this divided by the length, which is 25 divided by 40, or the same thing as saying 5 eighths. <coughs> Good. Now, for the part primary 1-1, one, one. let's do 1-1. One, one. I want to find, the, I'm going to copy that, I, I mean, I know you know it, but 1 times delta is going to be the summation of all the integrals of small m, big m, divided by ei dx and if we have to include the shear and we have to include the axial and we have to include the other effects we do this is the predominant effect so we are not going to include the other ones so that's my objective my objective is finding those equations for moment 
And he said, me going again and cutting and cutting and cutting. I'm going to put my moment here, right there. This is the moment for section one. And in this case, I'm going to put the moment. What I'm doing is this. I'm basically imagining that my section is there. And I don't have to redraw my section again, putting this here and this here, the B, the moment, etc. I'm just going to do it like that. So this distance is x. This force is 3. The total force here is 3 times x. This distance is x divided by 2. So when you do the summation of moments at this point, using this section, you're going to have positive m plus 3x times x divided by 2 is 3x squared divided by 2. And then you have negative 60 multiplied, negative 60 multiplied by x, negative 60x equals 0. So the moment for this part, which goes from 0 to 25, 0 to 25, is uh, the moment is uh, 60x minus 3x squared divided by 2. But that's my equation for the moment. Now, if I go to the other side and I do the same thing, Surprise, surprise, it's the same load, it's the same equation, it's the same everything. Whatever is going to change later on is the inertia. So for 2, 2, which is this section, my m is going to be also the same thing. It's from 0 to 15. My m is going to be equal to 60x minus 3x squared divided by 2. So that part is completed. Now we need this, we need to do the same thing here. Section 1, 1. Section 2, 2. For section 1, 1, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to put my moment here. And I'm going to put my section 2, 2 moment here also. So whenever we use section, this is for the primary. Now let's do for the virtual here. Then I said a small m, summation of moments at this point. So you have a small m plus. 3h times x, 3h times x, remember my x is now measured from here and my x is measured from there, uh, equals 0. So the m is going to be negative 3h of x for the section 1, 1, which goes from 0 to 25. There you go. This is m. For the section 2, 2, 2, 2, which goes from 0 to 15, 0 to 15, then if you do moment here, you're going to have positive m, positive 5 eighths of x. So moment is going to be equal negative 5 eighths of x. Now you have that. Now, in order to calculate delta, delta b, this one, delta b, we apply this equation. So delta b, 1 times delta b, so delta b o is going to be the summation of that. Basically, it's going to be the integral of big section 1, 1. Where is section 1, 1? This is section 2, 2. This is section 1, 1. It's the same equation, right? So it's going to be this one, 60x minus 3x squared divided by 2, multiplied by this, negative 3x of x, from 0 to 25. Remember we have EI, well E is this, I is that, but in this case I is double, so I'm going to put here a 1 divided by 2 times EI, because I is not I, it's 2I for this part, plus, now I do the integral from 0 to 15, the other side, same part here, 60x minus 3x squared divided by 2, multiplied by negative 5x of x dx. And this is going to be 1 divided by ei is going to be in the, and i is i. It's not double, so 1 divided by ei. <coughs> and this is what is happening. Once I solve this and I put all the limits and I put everything in, I'm going to get this value, negative 61450.2 divided by EI. And if you're wondering why I'm not taking EI into account, because I don't want to. I don't want to because they are going to cancel each other out later on. Or if they don't cancel each other out later on, 
uh, is okay, but I keep them like that for now. Remember what we are calculating here so far is keep cubic feet divided by nothing. That's that's it. Keep cubic feet. Keep. Uh, this was an error of a bunch of students in the past exam, the unit conversion. Now this is the delta B. Now I'm gonna keep working in this paper. So I'm gonna keep working in this side now, and I'm gonna be doing this part, uh, FBB. So what are we gonna do for FBB? One times FBB is gonna be equal to the summation of the integrals of small n squared divided by EI. That's what it is. That's what we always did. And this tip is too ugly, so I'm gonna switch to black only because of that. Okay, what do we have here? For section, uh, for the first part, <coughs> I'm sorry, for the first part, I have this, so it's gonna be uh, FBB is gonna be equal to one divided by two EI. Same reason, in this section, I is double. Uh, integral from zero to 25 of this, negative three X over eight squared, dx plus one divided by ei integral from 0 to 15 of this square. So when you solve for FBB, FBB is going to be equal to 805.66 divided by ei. And the units are keep cubic feet also. Per every keep, per every keep of load. Yeah, per keep of load because that load it was uh, one. Okay, now I have delta B O and I have A B B. If I wanted, if I didn't have any settlement here, uh, and I wanted to calculate the reaction in B, that's done. The only thing that you say is delta BO, remember that's the equation original, for calculating only the reaction if we don't have settlement, delta BO plus FBBBY equals zero, and then solve for BY, but this is not the case. This is not the case because we have an, a settlement happening at that point, and the problem tells us how much is that settlement. So now let's work with that part. Be very careful because this is the new concept introduced with this problem, at least for some of you. Okay, we have information here, I'm going to do that uh, line, this is the original line of the beam, and we have information here that at this point, this is going to settle one fourth of an inch, so this is going to come down one fourth of an inch right here. The point A is going to be here now. The point C is going to be coming down also three quarters of an inch. This distance is three fourths of an inch and then the roller will be here. If this was statically determinate, which you know it's not, but if it was, nothing happened. The structure just happened to do this in a straight line, like that. That's it, nothing else, and nothing will happen. But this is not the situation. The situation is that at, at, the, le at the level of B, that settles one inch, which is bigger than this, right? So the point B, somewhere is going to end here and the total distance from here to here is one inch. Now the the form shape of the beam of this beam after settlement would be something like this like that meaning I don't care about this and I don't care about that but I do care about this differential settlement or this uh, relative settlement of that point 
And how do we calculate that relative settlement of that point? Well, then you have to calculate how much is this contribution and how much is this contribution here. I'm just interested in this one. This one is what the most of the textbooks call delta B uh, relative. And this is the delta B total, but I'm interested in seeing delta B relative. How much is that delta B relative? If this part here is one fourth and this is three fourths, the difference between both of them is just two fourths, which is half an inch. So half an inch is going to be distributed between this and that. So you can say if the half an inch is this, is as 40 as 25 is as, so half an inch, half an inch is at 40, like 25 is as, so basically it's gonna be 0 0.5 divided by 40, multiplied by 25, and that would be 0 0.3125, 0 0.3125, plus, plus, that will be this part, here, plus this quarter of an inch, uh, that would be point, point six five two five, zero point six five two five, zero point six five uh, five six two five. That would be this part, and because the total amount is one inch, then this part here the relative uh, displacement or deflection is going to be 1 inch minus 0 0.5625 of an inch or well, minus that that will be uh, 0 0.4375 of an inch that's my delta vr now, what do we do? We don't do that. By the way, this is a negative displacement because it's coming in that way. So what do we have to do now? Now, for finishing our problem, the only thing that we have left to do is this. We say delta VO plus FBV times CBY has to be equal to delta VR. That's what we do. How much is delta VO? Delta VO is negative 61450.2 divided by EI. That's delta VO. Uh, now you can put in here the values for E and the values for I plus FBB, how much is FBB? Or you can pass EI to the other side if you want to. Plus FBB, FBB, nobody moves. Where is my FBB? My FBB is in the other page. Where is the other page? Here. And then why did I switch this page? I, I'm not supposed to switch this page. I'm sorry, trees. So Delta B, O, plus FBB times BY equals delta BR. Delta VO is negative 61450.2 divided by EI. And I say, now you plug this in, plus FBB. FBB is 805.66 divided by EI. Now remember, uh, this value, when you put E, if you put E, E is 29,000 KSI, and I is 2,500 inches to the fourth. If you put these values in here, now you have to multiply this by 12 to the third, and then 12 to the third to keep it in inches, if you want it in inches. That has to be equal to what? To the displacement the relative displacement that we calculated here, and it's negative, 0 0.4375. That's what it is. And of course, this value has to be multiplied by uh, By. Now from here, we can solve for By, and we can get the value of the reaction of 53.49 kip.
acting in this direction. Once we have by, problem is solved, basically. Now we have to create the shear moment diagram. In order to create the shear moment diagram, then we have to calculate the rest of the reactions. Let's calculate the rest of the reactions. So we have this. C, A, B, and that value that we just calculated was 53.49. Fifty-three point forty-nine kip. Uh, this is a distributed load here on top. Of three kip per foot or per feet. <coughs> and, and that's it. Now I have to calculate this. So how do you calculate the two add in the distances? Of course, this is uh, 25 and 15. 53.49. I just copy that over. Now you do moment here, for example. If you do moment here, you're going to have uh, 3 times 40 times 20. You can do it if you want to. Summation of moments at A equals 0. So you can say 3 times 40 times 20, negative, this force coming down, plus 53.49 times 25, this is this value, and then you have CY, CY plus CY times 40 equals 0. So you can solve for CY. Uh, And working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. 26.57 CY equals 26.57. The negative is because I have to pass it to the other side, obviously. <coughs> Keep. And then you do summation of forces in Y equals 0. And then you can calculate AY as 39.94. Keep. You can put it here now. Values for the reactions. The values for the reactions. The values. I don't know where I'm switching colors all the time. Uh, 26.57, 39.94. And now is the moment that we have to build our diagrams. How do we build our diagrams? Pretty easy. One, two, three. One, two, shear is going to be here, moment is going to be here, this is going to be keep, and this is going to be keep per foot, keep per foot. This end, go up, find that force, 39.94, and then you have this value here, 3 times 25, calculator, 3 times 25 minus 39.94 equals 35.06. 35.06. This 35.06, you find this force pushing it up, 53.49, and pushes it up to 18.43. 18.43, and then this 18.43 minus 3. Minus 3 times 15, which is 45. Then get this to 26, 26.57. So this is a straight line. Straight line. Jump up. Straight line. Jump up. And now, what do you do now? Come on. Extra credit points. What do you do now? You say yes. There you go. Now you have to find this distance and this distance. How do you find that distance? That distance is the summation of both 39.94 plus 35.06 divided by the total. What is the total? 25 divided by 25 multiply and then it has 3. And then you get this value and divided by that. So 39.94 divided by 3, 13.31. 
3. And this is the difference with 25, meaning this is 11. This is this distance is 11.686. Now you do the same thing here. This value plus this value, 18, which is, you know, this value plus this value is going to be the difference over there. 0.43 uh, plus 26.57. That's going to give you 45. This 45 is just 3 times 15. So you can calculate it like that if you want to. 3 times 15 is 45. Now divided by the total length, which is 15. <coughs> That's going to be 3. And then you're going to multiply. You're going to divide 18.43 by that 3. And that's going to be 6.14. Uh, 6 6.14. Three, and this is going to be 15 minus that so that's going to be 8.856 and once you have that then we can calculate the moment we come here we start from zero because that is a pin support there's no concentrated moment there I have this shape that shape is positive decreasing positive decreasing please don't neglect infants neglect on people instead positive decreasing positive decreasing is going to be like that maximum moment at that point now this other shape is going to be what and the value is going to be the area of that the area of that is 39.94 times this divided by 2 that value is 265.9 now you get this value and subtract this area this area is 269 the 65.9 minus uh, 11.686666 times 35.06 divided by 2 and then you get a value of 61 uh, positive 61 and then you look at this shape negative negative increasing negative increasing there you go negative increasing which the slope should be the same by the way that value is 61 over there and now what do you do from there what do you do from there you find this other area here positive decreasing positive decreasing there you go so this is going to go up this area 18.43 times 6.143 divided by 2 plus this value is going to give you 117 117.7 positive decreasing is like that and now you have this negative value which you don't even have to calculate it because you know it has to close in zero but just to be sure it's going to be 117 minus this area 8.856666 times 26.5 divided by 2 and this is negative increasing negative increasing negative increasing and then you say yes sir done this is a complete problem now the rest is the same thing you just have to find just recapitulating what we did here we did this this was the original problem what is the difference between this and the other one that you have settlement in the in the supports important thing is identifying what is the relative settlement once you identify the relative settlement instead of saying oh this is going to be the deflection of my primary plus the pushing from the virtual and the flexibility coefficient that's not going to be zero now it's going to be equal to plus or minus depending on the sign of that displacement that we just calculated see you guys keep watching i'm going to try to do some other videos for this have a nice day be safe